Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And what better way to elevate your design for a loved one than with a custom rose brush in Adobe Illustrator. So, you know, you can make something like this. In this video, we'll show you how to create an art brush to transform this regular old cartoon heart into an elegant rose heart shaped design. We will have tips and tricks for making it look just right and we will also make sure it is ready for import to your CNC router or laser cam software. All right, let's get into this video. Before we dive into creating our custom rose brush, let's talk about what brushes are in Illustrator. A brush in Illustrator is a vector-based shape that is applied to the path to add some extra flair or texture to your design. There are several different types of brushes, pattern brushes, scatter brushes, but today we're focusing on creating your own custom art brushes. To get started, you will need a vector heart in rows or another vector design. It does not matter if you draw them out, image trace them, shape builder them, or get them from Etsy. We just need a vector format to work with and load it in Illustrator. If we want to help guide the rows and have a certain start and stop point, we need to make some adjustments to our heart. Now, select the heart shape using the selection tool. Next, we want the Add Anchor Point tool. To get to that, we can press plus or left click and hold down the ink pen tip and select Add Anchor Point tool. If successful, your cursor will have the aim and a little plus sign in the lower right hand corner. Use the tool to create two anchor points on the right side, but close to the center bottom of the heart, just like this. We select the center point we created with the direct selection tool, A, and then press delete. These points will help guide the brush with the start and stop points we want for our design. You can then use the direct selection tool again to adjust the positions of these anchor points as needed to determine the best intersecting paths, but we will focus on that later. Let's create the brush now. With your vector row selected, V, go to the brushes in the panel. If you do not see brushes in the panels, go to window and click on brushes. In that window, we will click on the new brush button in the bottom right corner, or we can drag and drop the rows into the brushes window itself. Once that is done, select Art Brush and click OK. In the Art Brush Options dialog box, adjust the brush scale option to stretch between guides. For direction, I have the stroke from bottom to top, if your design is not looking correct, you can also change the orientation in the options selection with the flip along or flip across. We can adjust these later once the art brush is applied to our path. Don't forget to give your brush a meaningful name such as Lovely Rose Brush and click OK. Now, to apply this brush to our design with our selection tool, B, click on the heart. Then in the brushes window, click on your custom made lovely rose brush and you have now applied the brush to your shape. Next, we are going to adjust or stretch slash shrink our design to our guides. Let's go back into the art brush options for our custom brush and we do that by double clicking on the art brush from the brushes window. Here we can adjust how the rose is scaled across the heart. We do this by moving the dotted lines either up or down in this case, or left and right if we were working with horizontal text on the heart. Now the lovely rose brush will be stretched proportionally between the two guides you created. If our image is too small or we want it a little bigger, we can change that with the stroke size. Let's get the selection tool and select our heart. Go to the stroke panel and adjust the stroke weight to your liking. Keep in mind a thicker stroke will result in a larger brush size. 
Now is the time to play around with the stroke and scale of your design to get it to the size you want. You may need to make some adjustments in the brush if you scale it up or down by a drastic amount. We're almost finished everyone, but if you've made it this far and this video is helping you out, remember to click that subscribe and like button. Now, to make this design more stable after we cut it, we will want the end of the stem and the rose itself to intersect. To accomplish this, we simply press A or select the direct select tool. For this design, I'm going to select the rose flower node and drag it a little further down so that it intersects the stem. If your rose was distorted in this process, you can adjust with the anchor point handles or by repeating the step four stretch between guides. Once you're good with how your design looks and you do not want to make any more changes, control C, control V, or copy and paste your design. Then you can drag it off to the side of your artboard. This is so you have something to go back to if you want to make changes later on. Remember, if you're doing this for CNC, your heart is still at just a single line vector. We need to expand it out to an object like the original rose we used to make this brush. If you are just printing, you do not need to convert it unless you're going to import it into another program. With our heart selected, we will need to go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now our object is exportable, but we still need to clean it up. Depending on your design, you may be able to use the Pathfinder to join everything together. But for this, we're going to need to use the Shape Builder tool. To give our design a little more strength once it's cut, let's get rid of the void in the stem area. With the heart still selected, click on the Shape Builder tool. Then, starting inside the shape part we want to keep, we left click inside the shape and then draw across the void or areas we want added to the shape. As you can see, by doing that, some of our rows and stem created some paths we do not want. That's okay, we can clean those up. We will start with the sections that belong in our main shape. To get rid of the stem and the rows, we are going to press and hold Alt, while we left click and draw through each part of the stem and the rows for all the areas that are not part of the main shape. With that, we have this cleaned up and our design looking how we want. Finally, we can export as we desire, either as a vector-based object, such as SVG, or a roster-based image. And that's it. Your custom lovely rose brush is now applied to the heart and stretched between guides. It's expanded and ready to be imported into your next computer program or printed to make the perfect custom Valentine's Day gift. Illustrator is packed with tons of cool features. So if you have any you wanna see or covered in future Illustrator videos, let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember to keep making stuff.